Mom, growing up, what was something we usually had if it was gonna be a Sunday and we were gonna eat at home? Meatloaf, <laughs> baked <laughs> potatoes. <laughs> oh, and baked potatoes. And green beans. Today, mom is joining me in the kitchen and we are making a variation of her meatloaf. Delicious pizza meatloaf. It's flavored a little bit extra with some basil, some thyme, pizza sauce, finished with a little bit of cheese, and to make sure it is mom's meal, we are throwing some potatoes in the oven and having green beans on the side. All that coming up on today's Wise Guide. Thanks for being here, Mom. Say hi to everyone. Hi. <laughs> Some of you definitely have met Mom before, but if not, this is the woman who has inspired and taught me everything, and I love to celebrate her all throughout the year, but it is Mother's Day, so I wanted to make sure to have her on and talk about one of the meals I definitely remember having a lot growing up. Every Sunday, when we came home from church, you would have some type of delicious meal in the oven ready to go. And it's kind of where I learned the timer function in the oven, because you always said it, it seemed like, before yep. church. Yep just the right amount of time, and then we'd get home and have a hot meal coming out. And why was it that you seem to have meatloaf a lot? I don't know, it's just one of my favorite meals, meatloaf. Did you have it growing up Yeah, it reminded oh, really? me of my mother, meatloaf okay. and baked I'm potatoes. I'm gonna guess she didn't make pizza meatloaf. No, we no. didn't, no, no. Mm -hmm. I did a few times. So. Oh yeah, no, you yeah. definitely yeah. did. Mm -hmm. If it wasn't, it was just the regular meatloaf, meatloaf, which this is just a variation of that. Right. I always am wowed by how my mom growing up, it doesn't matter how busy we were, how much work there was to do outside, we definitely always had a great meal, not only for lunch, but for supper too. And we always ate as a family. So she taught me the importance of food and having good food. So that's why I'm so excited to have her on and make this great meal for all of you to share too. So meatloaf, it's pretty easy and you always did a mixture. So to start, we did a mixture of ground pork, and ground beef. beef. And I don't know why, but why do you, some people do just beef, I think, can't you? Oh yeah, most meatloaf recipes are. It's just that we raised hogs. Oh, that's so why. Oh, we yeah, had we ground did. pork We in had the a beef. lot of pork, but then why'd you mix in the beef? Because otherwise it would just be kind of- It kinda... just gave it a better, better flavor. flavor. I mean, yeah. and pork can be- Kind of lean, right? Yeah. 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 So you want a little bit more of that fatty, delicious flavor bit, in yeah. there. And then we add our oats, which we use, or you always seem to use, quick cooking oats. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Some people, or traditionally, would use breadcrumbs, but the oats just add a nice texture and it's something you always had on hand. I always so I'm did. guessing that's and why I it's really easy. And I didn't have to break up the bread or do anything. It was ready yeah, to go. Yeah, that would be annoying. And then we're just gonna beat up an egg. Mm -hmm. An egg really just binds everything together, together. kind of holds everything. Adds a little bit of richness too, but just important. And apparently you felt I gave you too small a bowl to beat it up in, but. Well, it worked. Mm -hmm. It worked. Actually, I sometimes didn't even beat it up. I just put it in the bowl. <gasps> You rebel. Oh, I know. And just mix it all up. <laughs> so if you don't want to dirty a bowl. But beating it ahead does make sure that right. you know you have it beat together yeah, better right. and it, it's consistent. But if you have a family and it's right before church and everyone's yelling, you're just gonna throw the egg in. That's right. And then you just chop some onion and you are showing everyone your wonderful way of chopping onion. It's the ultra non-safe, you're probably gonna cut off your hand way. But somehow Jody has perfected it. That's how I grew up using a knife. I know and everyone, you should use a cutting board. No, I, I actually, I mean, when I cut certain things, I do yeah. that too. Like when I cut off corn every year, I cut towards me. Mm -hmm. Like when you cut it off the cob to freeze, mm -hmm. everyone always freaks out because I'm going to cut like my vein right there mm -hmm. and I haven't yet. So that's a plus. All right. You that's, haven't either. No, that's how I've always chopped an onion. So then just for some fresh flavor, which growing up, honestly, you didn't use fresh herbs and it seemed no, like a I lot. Didn't. You didn't no. even really grow them in your garden no, that much, I didn't. did you? I didn't know much about fresh herbs when That's you were interesting. younger. Yeah, my mother never did, so I didn't. And Iowa was a desert for fresh herbs back yeah. then. I'm glad things are changing. I am too. Yeah, me too. So a little bit of thyme, which you just pull off the stem. I don't really mess with chopping it too much. You might get a little bit of stem, which I'm guessing will bother you. Yeah, you're kind know. of a texture person. Yeah. You don't really like that. And then the basil, I just roll up and kind of chiffonade, but then dice up a little bit smaller. Then we just add in the pizza sauce. Mm -hmm. Now I'm using homemade pizza sauce. You could use botten. Mm -hmm. This is just something that I canned and it has all the flavor right in it. It has herbs in it, some spices. It has delicious kind of that pizza oomph right away. Otherwise, we would usually just add tomato juice. Right. And then to finish it, of course, everything needs a little bit of salt and pepper. Mm -hmm which I don't usually measure because mom didn't usually measure, but I was like extra pepper. Yeah, I, I love pepper. I, I, know, I like just more like pepper than salt. Yeah. People sometimes make fun that you add salt and pepper everything, but I just love pepper. But well, and so many things have salt in them. I mean, but when you cook at home, you never have as much salt as mm -hmm. if you would eat out and processed. No, no. no. 
Once everything is in the bowl, we just mix it together. We always use our hands. Just lightly mix everything together and then just shape it into a loaf. Now, I like to spray a pan and do it right on a pan so I can shape it into a nice loaf. You sometimes did it in a glass baking I dish. I did, like a nine by nine. Yeah, and some people do it in a loaf pan, but- Or you can do it in a loaf pan. I feel like that's kind of annoying because you don't get the brown, yeah. craggy edges that are all around it. And I like that kind of really I, brown I too. edge. The shape of it makes it And gives it a nice, little bit of a crust. And, and nice for slicing. Yeah. Once it's in the loaf, we just put a little bit more sauce on top. Right. It's just gonna kind of bake on it, get a little bit sweet and caramelized. Reserve a little bit more to put on at the end because you want some of that fresh flavor too. That's right. And this is kind of taking place of the ketchup people would put on top of meatloaf. You didn't often do that though. No, I did sometimes. But I'm guessing just because it added I did sugar ketchup, that we didn't need. Right, and I mixed it with brown sugar if I did that. And I would put so much ketchup on right. my slice that you probably were like, we're not going to give him more. All right. Once it's ready, just pop it right into a preheated oven. And along this, I'm doing what you always did and just putting some baked potatoes with it. Mm -hmm. Because you can just put them in the oven. They bake about the same time usually. Right, about an hour. And I did prick them because um, I have not pricked them and had them explode. Yeah, that happens once in a oh, while. Oh really, you had that happen? Once in a while, but It not. would have been nice if you would have told me more about that growing up. So that did not happen because that was a mess. Yeah, a baked potato that explodes is a mess. So I pricked them. Yeah. And then of course, you always growing up usually had... Green beans. Green bean what? Casserole. Yeah, that's right. We always had the green bean casserole. And a lot of times it was with a can of sweet, like of mushroom soup. Cream of mushroom yeah. soup. I'm doing it a little bit different. I'm not doing the mushroom soup over the top, but fresh green beans, right. you cannot beat yeah. them. No, you can't. So beat. you just cut off the ends, cut off any bad that's on them. And then along with the green beans, we of course always have to add Onion. You can't, you can't have, have onion. No, you can no, never I have enough. Onion. I do too. Kind of with pickled beets, I always add so much onion. Onion, yeah. yeah. Well, onion just gives such a good flavor. So just put the green beans and the onion in a shallow skillet, add a little bit of water, mm -hmm. bring it up to a simmer just to make sure it's cooking, put a lid on it, let it kind of steam for, for a little, little bit. bit with that. Remove the lid, let that liquid cook off. And then to finish them off, I add salt and pepper, of course, mm -hmm. and a little bit of butter. Right. You just need to cook it in something that gives it a little bit more flavor. Not a ton, just kind of let it melt and coat all the beans and right. onions. Just in a nice quick side dish. By that point, the meat should be done, the potatoes should be done, and the beans are done. So we are ready to eat. Yeah, sounds good to me. <laughs> That's good, because you're gonna eat under the whole meatloaf. <laughs> so just pull it all from the oven, let it cool slightly, probably for about 10 to 15 minutes would be good, just so, oh, <laughs> mom would not let it cool for that long. Why? Well, no, mom is hungry. Yeah. So she will burn her mouth. That's fine. But it is good to let the juices redistribute yeah, just, just a little a bit. a little bit, yeah. yeah. Of course, you can put more sauce on top. And I do like to add, right when you bring it out of the oven, some shredded cheese. cheese. Because oh, what yeah. does pizza have? Well, cheese. it has cheese. Yeah. And so you need to add cheese to a pizza meatloaf. Yeah. So just shred that up and then put it right on top. Yeah. Serve it with the beans, the baked potato. What more do you really need? Yeah, that made a meal. That... Sometimes I would open a jar of pickled beets. Oh, I know. We always had pickled beets. I was kind of raised. We People always think had we're to have weird, but I love them. You have to have something sour yet with your meal. That's so true. It balances it out. Mm -hmm. See all these little things that you don't realize are what have inspired me and really brought me to love cooking. So yeah. thank you for always being an amazing cook yeah. and inspiring me to do all this. Yeah. You're a good mom. If you like this video, make sure to click like, share, subscribe. I love to hear from you and to all mothers out there. Happy Mother's Day.